I live in a pretty neutral world. Gray, white, cream, off-white. So this is me living in my neutral world. But you know what? Inside of me, there's a little bit of color dying to get out. I wanted to use the new Morocco inlay from IOD over a blended paint surface. I began to search Pinterest for inspiration. I kind of knew the colors that I wanted to use. This is an antique wood dresser. See, I already had it painted gray. So I just started blending with those inspired colors using a chalk style paint. Unsealed inlays are reactivated with water. Chalk paint is reactivated with water. So I had the question burning in my mind, how am I gonna preserve that blended paint look and still apply an IOD paint inlay over the top of that blended surface. I knew that the first thing I needed to do before applying the inlay was to seal that chalk paint in place. I mixed half polycrylic and half water in a misting bottle and gave it two good misting coats of this mixture. I find that the inlays are easiest to apply working with the drawers out of the dresser. And because this is brand new territory for me, I also prepared a test board so that I could do every step of my process on a test board before I did it on my actual dresser. Here I applied a coat of Debbie's DIY Liquid Patina and let it dry for a few minutes. I'm pulling back to test to see how well the inlay adheres and how long I need to let the liquid patina dry before pulling back the inlay. When you apply liquid patina, it goes on as a milky, opaque finish, but as it dries, it will become clear. Now I'm ready to apply the inlay to my dresser drawers. So first, I'm using the grid lines and measuring to piece together the pattern for each of my drawers. I use some blue tape to hold all the pieces in together. I want each of the pieced pieces of inlay to become one unit for each drawer front. It's really important to make sure that you are piecing together your inlay pigment side down. Then on the end of the drawer, I'm making two little hinges out of tape so that I can pull back that entire piece of inlay. And then one drawer at a time, I'm going to wipe on the liquid patina and then apply the inlay over the wet liquid patina. I ain't gonna run. My rise is just then I'm gonna bring that entire inlay unit up over the top of the drawer and brayer it into place. I use a brayer to ensure that I have good contact with the entire dresser drawer. Now I'm misting the entire inlay with plain water and pressing it into place with a damp cloth so that the paint pigments start to activate. I let the liquid patina dry based on the timing that I used on my test board. Then gently pull back the inlay. Now it's back to my test board to work on the finish. Inlays can be reactivated with water. This is what happens when you apply a finish or water over an unsealed inlay. Better, you do this to me. 
Here I've applied one coat of my misting spray, half polycrylic, half water. Now I let it dry. I can still lift off pigment even after the one misting coat has dried. So I apply a second misting coat over the inlay and let that dry. This time, I'm not able to rub off any pigment. It's so important to do a testing board with the finish that you're going to be using. Now that I've gotten all the drawers finished and in place, I'm going to give my piece two misting coats of half and half polycrylic and water. Let each coat dry completely before applying your finish sealer. This antique dresser came complete with some vintage French Provincial handles that someone else had put on them. They were painted multiple colors, so I just used the colors that I had to brush over them. I really like the way this mix of styles works. I really like how I was able to apply the IOD paint inlay over my blended paint finish. You can find us at ellenjgoods.com or at our brick and mortar shop in Medina, New York. We'd love it if you would subscribe, hit the notification bell, and come back again to see what we're doing here at LNJ Goods.